know. It just doesn't make any sense. It's just like hokey. Some, somehow there. you just press. Well, somehow you just press print. Just print like, on the. They come up with this. Somebody just came up with it, and they just said, "Okay, if we give you a dollar, then you can accrue seventy-five cents from that dollar and put that in the bank and still spend the whole dollar. And then off of that, you can also another ninety percent off of seventy-five percent and build that separately, but still be able to use the whole dollar." So the dollar ends up being a dollar seventy-five somehow. <laughs> yeah, that, and then you can press yeah, you can press print yeah, on the money and, machine. You're just like what? And the dollar to begin with wasn't anything. The dollar to begin with was just paper. We're just talking about. And there's one well, that's why I've been tell, trying money. to tell you about that. You know when I you save a bunch of pennies is what I'm doing. If you save a bunch of pennies in a big jar and and say like a hundred pounds of pennies or something like that you'll, you'll get way more money if you melt the copper and then, you know except it's not copper anymore huh it's not copper anymore it's like steel I, coat I know I'm just talking about if you don't say we're copper pennies let's say they were copper more money they were they were they were worth more they cost more to make they were worth more they were the, worth. as the copper yeah they costed more to make they're worth more in copper than they were as a penny you know what I mean no that's weird yeah and they're like we don't want to put anything of value in the people's hands <laughs> well that's kind of goes into no, I was no, they you, 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 can take your, you can take your pennies. You, you were better off to collect a bunch of pennies back in the day when they were copper and, and have them melted down for the cash. Well, don't put any metals that are of value in the people's hands. But that's why I was telling you what Reba is. It's like when you put money in the bank and they make money off your money, but they don't do anything? Yeah. Or they make money from lending you money? Yeah. And then you're like, like Reba McIntyre? Yeah, that's what banks are. You, you put your money in the bank. Well, those kind they of... Take that money. <laughs> they take that money and they invest it in things and try to make interest on it. And I think those are some of the like transactions that are like in Islam those are the haram transactions the forbidden transactions and Jews were like the big innovators of it I don't know what happens when they lose the money like they say their investment was bad it came down to Babylon it's like it might even be what the, what the fallen angels brought down to Babylon You know how the angels the had thing, the angels had to the come whole thing, teach. The whole thing, but anyway, the whole thing is just stupid, and that's what this movie is about. And then it goes to this colony that is no money whatsoever, and everything is automated with robots. There's no working, but you, there's still like trades. You still there's artists gardeners and farmers and you know it's not just people sitting on their ass but they can well, they, do whatever they want and they give their shit away these 2,000 page documents the Sunnah that's how life it's talking about how life was when they when they did fair um, all they used was gold coins and then bartering yeah you know bartering trading because well, if, you, if, if, if all you if all you grow is corn, you got to trade the corn for other goods. So if you need if you need barley, then you trade your corn for barley, and then that that's how you would get a variety of things. You you would have your trade, and then you go into the market, and and you could sell it for 
gold dinar and silver dirham, or or you barter it for other things that you I need. Who decides how much? Who decides how much barley you get for? Um, setting the prices. I think huh? so, there's some guidelines for setting the prices even in, in the Suna. Like how much is a bushel of corn as far as barley? I mean, how much barley you get for a bushel of corn? And how do they figure that out? They might just agree on it. There, I mean, there was a, there was a, I know they said a certain amount of gold was always worth a donkey, and no matter there's never inflation. So, the same amount of gold it costs to buy a donkey thousand years ago would be the same amount of gold it would cost to buy a donkey today. So, like all all the prices are pretty much the same. I mean, some of it might be influenced by the su the supply, but hoarding. Hoarding and monopolizing is is illegal in in Islamic well, law. Well, they found a shitload of gold somewhere, then all the gold wouldn't be worth much. Um. No, I miss that. The same thing with the diet, diamond people. They, if they find a shitload of diamonds somewhere, they don't tell anybody because the whole reason diamonds are expensive is because there's not that much of them. So they'll like. Yeah. I mean, Gold's not going to be worth anything if there's no food. Right. Yeah, if there's no if there's no food and you got a bunch of gold, the gold's not going to be worth much. It's it's just Yeah. You can trade That's food. Trade it for. You can trade food for food or you can fucking eat gold. I think you can I think you're allowed to like but you know, you know what in the end it is always worth something for? Electrical kind 